Hi and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our daily current affairs session. Before we today, before we begin with our daily MCQs today, let me share with you all that twenty fifth of April, twenty twenty two. Every year we celebrate World Malaria Day, right? This slide is from twenty twenty, but this is twenty twenty two. This was the theme for twenty twenty. Do let me know down in the comments below what is the theme for World Malaria Day twenty twenty. All right. So the railway stations of Lucknow, the railway stations of Lucknow, New Delhi, and Bhubaneswar will be lit up on the occasion of World Malaria Day. Okay. And uh, so the governments of India's effort has also resulted in an eighty six point five four percent reduction in the total malaria, eighty six percent reduction in the number of cases of malaria in the country, and also seventy nine percent reduction in fatalities that occur on account of. Malaria. So this is your World Malaria Day. Which city will host the first incredible India International Cruise Conference? This is our very first uh, question for today. Which city will host the first in incredible India International Cruise Cro Conference for the year twenty twenty? All right, twenty twenty two के लिए first incredible India International Cruise Conference कौन सी city host करेगा? If you have been following current affairs, if you you should be able to know that the cruise capital of India. Other than the financial capital of India, that is Mumbai, it is also a cruise capital of India. Cruise capital of India, Mumbai will host India, incredible India's first international cruise conference, right? So, ये जो cruise conference है, सबसे पहले इसके know the mascot. One liner exams में ऐसी conferences के Olympic games के mascot जो होते हैं, they become very very important. ये are definitely asked in this right so this is a sure shot this is a sure shot one liner mcq on your general awareness section of rbi grade b or any other competitive exam incredible india international conference jo mascot hai that is captain cruzo right this is the website you can check it out more details if you want right and the focus of the conference was de developing india as a cruise Before we discuss more details about it, let's just look at the organizers of the event. Organizers will be Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. You know the union, the Sarbana, the Sor. Well, right, Fikki and Mumbai Ports Authority, Mumbai Ports Authority ke chief, Mr. Rajiv Jalota, an IAS officer. These three will be the organizers of uh, this conference. Okay, so we have this theme developing India as a cruise hub. So cruise hub 2019 alone in the year 2019 alone there were four lakh cruise passengers, four lakh cruise passengers or basically cruise tourists in 2019. 2020-21 you all know uh, we all struggled with COVID. Tourism industry was the hardest hit industry because of the pandemic. Right, so. बेसिक एम इसका क्या है बेसिक एम ये है कि क्रूज टूरिज्म क्रूज टूरिज्म को क्रूज टूरिज्म इज बेसिकली द निश ऑफ टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री राइट इट इज द निश मींस इट इज द लग्जूरियस एंड द टॉप मोस्ट स्ट्रेट ऑफ द टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री दैट इंडिया इज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ग्रो इंडिया इज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ग्रो टेन टाइम्स क्रूज टूरिज्म इज लाइकली टू ग्रो टेन टाइम्स बाई ट्वेंटी Right, likely to grow ten times by twenty thirteen. Yeah, and also the Sagar flagship Sagar Mala program also aims to link uh, the ports of Mumbai, Visag, Visakhapatnam, and Andaman to the port of Goa. Because Goa has the highest cruise tourism, second highest cruise tourism state of. All right, so all this will be the focus of the conference. Information campaign, regional connectivity, development and cruise tourism sector of the country. ये सारे इसके components होंगे. All right. So, who is also another thing that whenever we come across cruise tourism, we all think, we all think that cruise tourism okay, it must be only related to shipping and ports and you know, sea water and ocean. That is not so. Inland River Waterway Authority of India's chief. Mr. Sanjay Bandopadhyay, Mr. Sanjay Bandopadhyay also attended 
attended the conference and also a lot of stakeholders a lot of investors and business partners also attended the conference so cruise tourism also have a lot of scope for development in river waterway right river waterways or inland waterways i said river waterway so that you can relate to it or remember it correctly river waterways isme aapne varanasi multimodal port वाराणसी मल्टीमोडल में आपने क्रूज टूरिज्म का एक स्कोप देखा होगा इट वाज सो मच न्यूज इट वाज सो मच पॉपुलर तो इनलैंड रिवर में जेटीज लग्जूरियस हाउस बोट्स एंड यू नो लग्जूरियस शिप्स ऑल दीज विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ क्रूज टूरिज्म इन द ने ओके सो वी हैव ऑल दीज इशूज मिस्टर सर्बनंद सोनोवाल यू ऑल नो इज ऑल्सो द यू of ayush and cos ye sare pointers hain jo aapko yaad rakhne hain sare basic background concepts hain jo aapko samajhne hain for the exam point of view as well okay moving on to the very next question for today is with which country has india launched an alliance for bioenergy and biofuel alliance for bioenergy to bioenergy and biofuels ki whenever we talk about these things, brazil is one of the most important and the oldest source of ethanol production right brazil has a very big scope for ethanol production and india and brazil have been looking forward to exploit this potential uh, you know in years to come so that is actually being seen actualized now with which country has india launched alliance for bioenergy and biofuel is the correct answer is brazil brazil you all know capital is brasilia the official language of brazil is portuguese okay so brazil is also brazil is also the fifth largest country in the world it is the fifth largest country in the world and in the year 2020 mr jel balzonaro mr jel balzonaro was the chief guest of india's republic day celebration सो so, ये सारे कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स हैं यू शुड नो अबाउट इट इंडिया और ब्राज़ील का बायोलैटरल ट्रेड कितना है अराउंड एट बिलियन डॉलर्स और मे बी मोर और रफ स्केच और रफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ बायोलैटरल ट्रेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड ब्राज़ील एट बिलियन ओके सो इंडिया एंड ब्राज़ील ने अभी अलायंस फॉर बायो एनर्जी एंड बायोफ्यूअल का एक अलायंस साइन किया है टू डेवलप अ वर्चुअल इट इज़ अ वर्चुअल सेंटर रिमेंबर इट इज अ वर्चुअल सेंटर तो इसके हेडक्वार्टर्स कहाँ पे होंगे नो वेर इट इज अ वर्चुअल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस ऑन एथेनॉल राइट सो दिस सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस ऑन एथेनॉल विल बेसिकली फोकस ऑन इंडस्ट्रीज दैट आर डिफिकल्ट टू डी कार्बनाइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री पे इसका फोकस हो जाएगा एविएशन इंडस्ट्री पे इट विल फोकस राइट सो दीज आर सम कि इंडस्ट्री ट्रांसपोर्ट एविएशन एंड वेरियस अदर सेक्टर्स व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डी कार्बनाइज सो ये जो अलायंस है इंडिया ब्राजील अलायंस फॉर बायो एनर्जी विल फोकस ऑन दो सेक्टर्स राइट ब्राजील इज सेट टू हैव द ओल्डेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड एंड एफिशिएंट एथेनॉल प्रोग्राम्स राइट इंडिया ऑलरेडी बहुत सारा क्रूड ऑयल इम्पोर्ट करता है एंड यू ऑल नो दैट E20 ट्वेंटी प्रोग्राम ऑलरेडी रन फॉर एथेनॉल इन इंडिया राइट ई ट्वेंटी मीन्स पहले ई टेन वॉज एप्लीकेबल टिल अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आफ्टरवर्ड्स ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी परसेंट ब्लेंडिंग ऑफ एथेनोलियम इट विल सेव अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व फॉर अ कंट्री इफ वी इफ द एथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग प्रोग्राम इज वेरी वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन अर कंट्री वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड ई टेन एंड ई ट्वेंटी इशू वन ऑफ अवर प्रीवियस डेली करेंट अफेयर सेशन so you should uh, go and check that out the ministers have discussed conclusions of the joint working group on bioenergy cooperation whose first meeting happened on august 6 2021 for the bilateral cooperation in nine areas will be on implementation and scaling up and technology in future so you all ye sare minor details hain आप स्लाइड से भी पढ़ सकते हो बट इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट तो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इश्यूज इंडिया और ब्राजील में और भी इम्पॉर्टेंट कभी साइन हो कवर दिस अप इन दिस इज एक्चुअली द क्वेश्चन विच आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन विच कंट्री इज आयुर्वेद प्रेमा हेल्थ 
have already given you the answer right the answer the uh, country's name is argentine all right uh, in argentine ayurved prema health uh, foundation is created you abhi recently Guj, gujarat mahatma mandir in gandhinagar gujarat mein ye event uh, conduct karaya gaya tha global ayush investment and innovation summit 2022 right it was conducted in gujarat Gandhinagar, so usi me pehle din ek uh, conference hua tha where you know a lot of startups, financial techs, and you know a lot of industries that are related with Ayush signed came together, signed an MOU, right? A line of investments were promised towards the Ayush sector. Okay, so a letters of intent worth more than nine thousand crores were written during the event. Uh, let's to have a glimpse fast moving consumer goods especially jo ayush industry mein jo fast moving goods hai unke is unko 7000 ka wo mein investment investment letter of intent right 300 crore 345 crore have been given to pharma sector rupees 60 crore for technology and diagnostic category rupees 1000 crore for medical value travel and 3000 crore for farmer and agriculture Right, so 12 MOUs were sound, Central Council for Research in Ayurveda, Ministry of Ayush. Yes, RS came important partners, the IITs, ICMR, AIMS, CSIR, these were all some important collaborators, stakeholders and partners of the event. The MOU was signed between Rashtri Ayurveda Vidya Peet, Ministry of Ayush and Ayurveda Pema Health Foundation, Argentina. Okay, and uh, the field was established in the Academia for Collaboration and Ayurveda. So, now I was talking about Brazil, correct answer here is Argentine, but the Brazil, Brazil point that I was trying to say over here is, <clears throat> the, uh, Brazilian association, in Brazil also, there is also a Brazilian association of Ayurveda. Brazilian association of Ayurveda. Now, this is uh, also a glimpse into how many uh, other important countries are involved towards Ayurveda in India. Okay, this was also a tripartite IMOU signed between India Federation of uh, uh, All India Institute of Ayurveda, Federal University of Ontario. So, these are important facts that you have to remember. Another important question here we have is Apple has partnered with Pune based research institute hai ek, Applied Environment Research Foundation and Conservation International Project to protect the mangrove ecosystem in which district of Maharashtra. So ye district ki jo choices aapko di gai hai is, is mein bahut bahut interesting hai bahut bahut confusing it will be hard to elicit. Why because Maharashtra mein Maharashtra ecosystem has, is very very diverse it also has western ghats mangrove forest beaches right so sindhudurg so western ghats ka bahut important ek part ho gaya nashik you have vidarbha vidarbha is bahut zyada news mein aata hai regarding droughts and water scarcity have aurangabad where ajanta caves is situated the correct answer here is raigarh right तो रायगढ़ के मैनग्रूव इकोसिस्टम को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए एप्पल एप्पल यू ऑल नो अबाउट द कंपनी एप्पल हैज पार्टनर्ड विद पुणे बेस्ड रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट अप्लाइड एनवायरनमेंट रिसर्च फाउंडेशन एंड कन्वर्सेशन कंजर्वेशन सो ये सारे टॉपिक्स हैं दे प्रोटेक्ट द मैनग्रूव इकोसिस्टम इन रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र Right, there are a part of Apple's restore fund which has a corpus of 200 million. Apple can restore fund, they have a corpus of 200 million, which was announced in 2020. <coughs> right, so Apple ka restore fund was uh, actually launched in the year 2021. April 2021, ne, April, Apple ne restore fund launched kiya tha with an aim. With an aim to absorb 1 million metric tons of carbon dioxide annually. Right? 
or to remove 1 million metric tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere on an annual basis how how at apple's restore fund basically through focused on forestry right forests and mangrove they act as a major carbon sink carbon sink and carbon sequestration are two important that are related to this right so basically kya hota hai ki jo carbon sink hota hai jitna bhi carbon dioxide hai atmosphere mein it gets absorbed it gets absorbed into into the carbon sink in, in, by the forests all right so that is how the process of carbon sequestration take place and it is said it is said that ma mangroves act as a huge carbon sink right mangrove aise forest hote hain ki saline water brackish yani ki salty ocean water mein survive kar sakte halophytes right mangroves they also protect as they work as a shield against the high tides they protect the forest protect the ecosystem राइट सो कार्बन सिंक का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बहुत ज़्यादा है मैन ग्रूव सो दिस इज वॉट एप्पल रिस्टोर फंड इज बेसिकली एम्ड एट टू रिस्टोर फॉरेस्ट टू हेल्प दैम बिकम कार्बन राइट एंड इसी का एक छोटा सा इनिशिएटिव रायगढ़ में इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया है इन द रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट and also also in the restore fund also apple has promised that 70% of its uh, emissions for supply chain it will reduce carbon emissions uh, for in the apple supply chain to the extent of 75% by the year right on which river banks is the dahod district located dahod ek bahut hi important district hai gujarat mein right it is uh, situated on the tri section tri section means gujarat ke border pe situated hai wo it borders what it borders rajasthan and madhya right and dahod english word hai iska local meaning dohad bordering two states right two lines so dahod is one of the in 2006 in 2006 ministry of panchayati raj ministry of panchayati raj categorize the hod as the most backward district one of the most backward districts in india and finance commission bhi isko extra funds allocate ya grant karta hai in the category of back backward districts right so the question is asking you which river on which rivers bank is the hod district right? so the correct answer here is dudhimati river dudhimati river bahut hi ancient river hai right it is also related to ancient indian uh, history right ancient indian history mein dudhimati river basically is naam se isliye bhi popular hai why because people believe that rishi dadichi rishi dadichi you all know from mahabharat he used to meditate on the bank of the so the the whole district is located here right and here adi jati mahasammelan abhi कंडक्ट कराया गया इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ दाहोद इसमें अराउंड रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड करोड़ के वर्थ ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स को अप्रूव किया गया बाय पीएम मोदी अप्रूव प्रोजेक्ट्स वर्थ रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड करोड़ इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स राइट एंड आल्सो फोर्टीन हंड्रेड करोड़ के कुछ और भी प्रोजेक्ट्स भी लॉन्च किए गए हैं रिगार्डिंग वाटर सप्लाई एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द नर्मदा रिवर बेसिन तो ये कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंटर्स हैं रिगार्डिंग दाहोद डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन गुजरात वेन विल तमिलनाडु सेलिब्रेट द माइनॉरिटीज राइट्स डे माइनॉरिटीज राइट्स डे तमिलनाडु में कब सेलिब्रेट किया जाएगा वर्ल्ड माइनॉरिटीज राइट डे यूनाइटेड नेशंस ने 1992 में स्टार्ट किया था दैट वुड बी सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन डिसम्बर डिसम्बर एटीन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू celebrated by was started by the united states the minority right and on the same lines on the same lines tamil nadu will also start with world minority day on the same date of december 18th right so isme kya school all the school students will be allocated fund of small amount like 500 rupees for students classes 1 to 5 and 1000 rupees for students from classes 6 to 10 will be given uh, under the uh, on the minority rights day over there right and also a sum of rupees 
फाइव करोड अंडर द नेशनल कमीशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू है वर्ल्ड माइनॉरिटी ओके सो दिस वॉज अ स्मॉल न्यूज ये इम्पॉर्टेंट है आपके लिए जाना कि वर्ल्ड माइनॉरिटी डे एंड तमिलनाडु का स्टेट माइनॉरिटीज राइट्स डे बोथ फॉलो ऑन द सेम डेट डिसम्बर ओके एंड यूजली इन द बिगिनिंग ईयर इन द स्टार्टिंग ईयर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम माइनॉरिटी सो इंडियन एयरफोर्स एंड इंडियन नेवी हैव पार्टनर डी आर डी ओ डी आर डी ओ के साथ पार्टनर की protects the warship from anti ship missile so hostilities ke dauran anti ship missile aur uh, agar koi enemy launch karta hai to usko protect karne ke shaf technology launch kiya gaya hai india is the second country after us to launch the shaf technology right and how many variants of rockets are present in shaf technology basically three variants of shaf technology that is short term long medium term and long term right so defense drdo to get shaf technology which protects the warship from an anti ship missile during protects the warship from anti ship missile india is the second country after the us to develop this technology basically kya hota hai that a metal particle cloud near the warship is raised right it deflects the incoming missiles away from you know our own warships and uh, aircraft right so it is a critical defense technology a major push uh, in atmanirbhar bharat defense sector right it protects fighter aircraft crafts of naval or naval airship from any radar guided during war right so three variants of shaf technology mein short range medium range long range iska significance ye hai ki bahut kam shaf is used uh, you know the technology developed by drdo requires a very little amount of shaf to be used to apply this technology right drdo ministry of defense ka bahut hi important research unit hai okay the, the motto of drdo is balasya moolam vigyanam that is the science is the greatest strength right the, or the source of all strength is source of all the strength is science is the motto of dr one of the most important research organization under the ministry of defense moving on to the next question we have which how much is the corpus of global innovation partnership global innovation partnership ka total corpus global innovation partnership kya hai let's discuss about it first let's see the corpus the corpus here is 100 million dollar ka corpus hai global innovation partnership ka right it is a partnership it is a government to government mou for cooperation on global innovative partnership and nuclear energy partnership also this was this is an actually an mou between india and uk right so a global center for nuclear energy partnership jo sign hua hai that is between india's department for atomic energy that directly comes under prime minister's office and uk's department of business strategy तो ये बेसिकली इंडिया के मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल डिफेंस एंड यूके के फॉरेन कॉमनवेल्थ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर साइन किया गया है तो दिस इज कोऑपरेशन इनिशिएटिव इन विच इंडिया एंड यूके अग्री टू को फाइनेंस अप टू यू एस हंड्रेड मिलियन टू सपोर्ट द ट्रांसफर एंड स्केल ऑफ इनोवेशन फॉर एस डी जीज एंड क्लाइमेट रिलेटेड राइट सो वी हैव नासाज परजीवरेंस मार्स रोवर हैज कैप्चर द इमेजेस ऑफ दिस मार्स पोटैटो शेप मून क्रॉसिंग द फेस ऑफ द सन राइट सो मासा के जो परजीवन मार्स रोवर है उन्होंने मार्स के दो ही मून हैं दैट इज डीमोज एंड फीपोज दीज आर दी ओनली टू मून ऑफ मार्स द मार्स सॉरी द लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ मून इन आर सोलर सिस्टम दे बिलोंग टू द प्लान जुपिटर एस्टिमेटेड सेवेंटी नाइन मून है बट एक्चुअली फिफ्टी थ्री मून है ओके okay, और सबसे बड़ा मून जो अभी डिस्कवर हुआ है टेंटेटिवली इट बिलोंग्स टू यू सो मेनी मून्स इन ऑल ऑफ आर नाइन प्लैनेट्स अर्थ का एक ही मून है द मून मार्स के दो मून्स हैं डीमोस एंड फीबोस बोथ आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल इन साइज राइट वन ऑफ द मून दैट इज फोबोस इट इज नोन एज पोटेटो शेप मून and mars ka perseverance rovers uh, nicknamed percy it was launched by nasa 
it is a car shaped or a car size rover that ex you know uh, goes on the land of mars it tries to explore its geology understand its geology it tries to find the traces of water and ice particles and even the traces of so basically mars ke surface ko terrestrial surface ko explore karne ka ek rover uh, mission hai that is perseverance rover it has also captured images for of phobos mars potato shaped moon right using mast cam z camera a very high tech camera and phobos it iske bare mein ye pata chala that is 157 times smaller than our own earth's moon other moon mars demos is even much more it was a small interesting news item you should if you are more intrigued you should go to the nasa website and about it which city is the world book capital of 2022 तो ये वर्ल्ड बुक कैपिटल बेसिकली यूनेस्को का इनिशिएटिव है टू इनकलकेट अ कल्चर और एन हैबिट ऑफ रीडिंग राइट तो रीडिंग के कल्चर और हैबिट को इनक्रेज करने के लिए यूनेस्को हर साल एंड आल्सो इन द अपकमिंग ईयर इट अनाउंस वर्ल्ड बुक कैपिटल तो दिस ईयर्स वर्ल्ड बुक बुक कैपिटल इज गोदाला जारा इज क्वाइट एन इंटरेस्टिंग नेम टू प्रनाउंस इट इज इन द सिटी ऑफ मैक्सिको next year in the city of accra will be the world book capital of 2020 world book capital last year was another interesting pronunciation you guys learn it it was in georgia in 2020 so this year's theme this year's theme of april 23 world book capital is read until no stranger remain so thank you so much for watching today's videos right if you want If you want to check out our RBI Grade B crash course, if you want to streamline your preparation in the right direction and get the right guidance at the right time, do check out our crash course for RBI Grade B examination. And to get the PDF of this current affairs PPT, you should join our Telegram channel. वहाँ पे हम लोग रोज YouTube link के साथ इसका PDF भी upload करते हैं. Access this PDF. Okay so thank you so much for watching till the end take care study well prepare well stay safe and healthy bye bye